An East Texas man is just days away from being executed by the state. Tracy Beatty of White House is on death row for murdering his mother in 2003. A jury decided his fate in 2004, and since then, his execution has been delayed three times. But could it be delayed again? CBS 19's Mara Lopez has been researching this case and even spoke to Beatty on death row. Mara, will Beatty be put to death on November 9th? It's hard to tell because at any point the criminal justice system could delay his execution. But as of right now, his lethal injection appears to be set for Wednesday evening. So why did he get the death penalty? Let's go back 20 years to the scene of the crime. White House, Texas, 2003. Tracy Beatty was staying with his mother after being released from prison for intentionally injuring his 18-month-old niece. But two days before Thanksgiving, an argument would lead Beatty to strangle and beat his mother, breaking bones and causing trauma to her head. She died from her injuries. He's been on death row for the crime for nearly two decades. I drove down to the Polanski unit in Livingston to speak with Beatty just weeks before his execution date. I wanted to find out what led to that moment on that day. So could you tell us what happened from your perspective? I had been drinking all day and I came in drunk and she just started talking trash and raising hell and telling me I wasn't going to be staying out and all, you know. Immediately, Beatty opened up about that night, the night he says he lost control. Do you feel any remorse um, for your Seriously, actions? She was my mother, you know, but I mean, I didn't mean to kill the woman. It was an accident. They knew it was an accident. What happened? What happened was I got up. I tried to leave the room. I told her, I'm not going to listen to you. You know, I tried to leave the room. She got up and grabbed me by my hair. Beatty described grabbing his mother by the throat and throwing her toward the recliner. She was dead. Beatty did not express any remorse. And I realized, you know, uh, I got to do something. So I just dug a, dug a grave in the backyard and put her in it. Court records show Beatty buried his mother in her backyard. Her body was found two days before Christmas. Beatty confessed to killing his mother after being arrested for theft in Henderson County. With just two days left until his execution date, Beatty and his lawyers have tried to get his lethal injection date moved. Recently, they tried suing state prison officials, arguing his execution could be unconstitutional. The deputy director at the Death Penalty Information Center explains the strategy. We're not supposed to be executing people who are mentally incompetent to be executed. That means that they don't have a rational understanding of the fact of their execution or the reason for it for their execution. But new documents reveal an appeals court recently denied his latest appeal for a stay of execution. It's a move criminal defense lawyer Matt Bingham says is very common this close to the execution date. His lawyers will be doing everything they can to try to prevent the death penalty from being assessed. And, and it's it's lawful, it's legal to do that. Bingham was the Smith County District Attorney during Beatty's trial. It was one of his first capital murder cases. I do believe that he should have that appellate review and there should be scrutiny of the case to, to make sure that what the jury assessed was the right decision, or at least that that his rights were protected constitutionally and otherwise. Whether or not he's executed this week, Beatty says he's at peace. I mean, I've got an advantage over most people in the world. I mean, you don't know when you're going to die. I, I know when I'm going to die. You know, and I've known that I was going to die since I've been here. 